So I want to walk you through some free resources to learn data science and machine learning that maybe you aren't aware of. These are some things you've probably seen before, but other resources that are specific to gap areas, areas that can make you stand out from other data scientists. Let me dive right in. Uh, first class I'm going to show you is John Hopkins statistical inference class. There are a ton of ways you can learn statistics and several different courses. This one's really well rated. It's free. It's probably one of the more straightforward uh, statistics classes, and it's exactly what you need aimed at a data scientist, aimed at that sort of curriculum. So check it out, John Hopkins University Statistical Inference on Coursera. And again, this one's free. Data manipulation at scale. This is probably one that you haven't been exposed to before, but this is a great course to understand real data wrangling. There are a ton of data wrangling classes, just like there's a ton of statistical inference classes out there. But data wrangling is an art form, and you don't want to just learn the simplest version of data wrangling. So this is a good class to get you deeper into concepts of data wrangling and data wrangling at scale. There's even some understanding of the creations of pipelines working with stream versus batch. So this is good and it's comprehensive. It's gonna give you a view of a lot of different components that are used in the real world and even a little bit of historical information about what we used to use. So it's a good class. Data Manipulation at Scale, Systems and Algorithms, University of Washington, Coursera. Research and Data Management, Research Data Management and Sharing. Now, companies look for people who have a good understanding of managing data, almost data governance, data quality, some of those core issues that the majority of classes that talk about data science and machine learning completely overlook. So the reason why I recommend this class, and it may seem strange, you, you know, this is a research data management, which is significantly more rigorous than most classes are going to explain the data management world in. But this is something that companies are looking for people with experience in, because there are an increasing number of companies who are dealing with new legislation, new regulations, new requirements for securing data and sharing data back and forth, but doing that in a secure way that takes into account all of these ugly landmine privacy issues that you may encounter as a data scientist. So this is very real world. Even though they're tailoring it to research data, this will apply broadly throughout your entire career, especially over the next three to four years as companies come to terms with what it means to actually do data sharing, data governance, data security, privacy, and tackling all of these issues. And so you're going to see a more comprehensive view of the data life cycle with respect to best practices. And so this is a great one to take a look at. Research data management and sharing, uh, UNC Chapel Hill, Coursera. Now, fundamentals of visualization with Tableau. This is a, uh, Tableau's ubiquitous. And visualization is something that no matter what role you take on, even ML engineers do data visualization. And like I said, Tableau's ubiquitous. It's one of the most asked for visualization tools. It feels like at least 75% of companies that I've worked with use Tableau in at least some of their user facing roles or some of the other stakeholder departments. So no matter what, you're going to be working with Tableau at some point in your career, most likely throughout your career. So this is a good introductory class to data visualization specific to Tableau, and it'll get you most of what you need to be effective using those analyst skills that we as data scientists sometimes don't practice or clean up on to begin with. And this is one of those roles that'll make you better as a user facer, user facing data scientist, able to visualize and explain some of the findings that your more complex work reveals. And like I said, it'll improve your ability to work with stakeholders. So fundamentals of visualization with Tableau, UC Davis on Coursera. Now the next one is from edX. Introduction to computational thinking and data science. I like this class because it's, it's more of a foundational understanding of data science and it's a way and a process more than it is 
teaching you fundamentals. So this is a good class that will help you think like a data scientist, not necessarily get all of those skills that you'll get from any other bootcamp. This one's more of a way of thinking and a process that's going to help you understand really the way we think, the way we build, the way we, we implement. And so this is, like I said, it's less and less of a hard skill class, but more of a thought process and an introduction to more of a real world approach rather than a whole lot of the theory that you'll get in other classes. So again, Introduction to com Computational Thinking and Data Science from MIT on edX. Now, Google gives you this wonderful platform that you can learn development skills, but you can also learn data science and machine learning skills. And these are a little bit more advanced than what you'll find in other uh, boot camps, but you're also going to get more of an applied view. Google is great at teaching, like this is exactly what you need to know. And this is how you're going to apply it in the real world. They are excellent at building curriculum around that sort of learn, apply, and really learning to be able to apply these very rapidly and upskill from wherever you may be right now into a data science and machine learning role. And so this is the ai.google slash education. This is their main page and you can get everything. This is really access all areas to their machine learning educational course offerings and curriculum. And you can even see they'll throw podcasts in there. There's a ton to explore here and learn. It's all free and it's comprehensive. Like I said, this is a whole lot deeper dive than you're going to get in a boot camp. It's self paced. You're going to have to do a little bit of background research. As you go, there's probably going to be some gap areas that you need to fill in as you read through or take some of these classes. So keep that in mind. It's a great resource, but expect to have to go back and maybe revisit some concepts that you didn't learn too deeply, or you may be learning some new concepts and then coming back to some of these classes with a better perspective, better able to absorb the dense content that you're going to get in the, the Google AI class offerings. Now back to Coursera, this is your, you know, if you're just starting out, this may be something you want to do before you go through uh, that Google class, just applied social network analysis in Python. This is one of those core classes that it's a skill very few data scientists have. You probably know how to do data science in Python. You probably learned and gone through those boot camps, but this is a specific use case. And the nice thing about this class is you're not just learning data science in Python, you're learning it in a specific use case, social network analysis, which is fairly complex. You're going to get a better understanding of how to use Python, how to apply it to a real world problem. And social network analysis is something that very few people actually get hands-on capabilities with. You may see about half of data scientists have done some sort of classwork around social network analysis. And this is one of your better classes. It's going to give you a more complete understanding of this particular use case. And like I said, you're going to not only learn Python, but you're going to learn Python for a specific use, which will give you a more comprehensive understanding of not only how to apply Python for this particular use case, but just more in general, how to use Python to do data science, not at a theoretical level, but actual applied, here are some projects tied in with additional learning about social network analysis. This is a great class for a niche skill that, like I said, only about half of data scientists have. And at the same time, you're learning a good amount of Python that's applied Python to data science. And again, that's applied social network analysis in Python, University of Michigan, Coursera. Now, introduction to systematic review and meta-analysis. You're thinking, what? Again, uh, these are gap skills. These are skills outside of the norm of what you're going to learn, but these are skills that you can apply to data science to stand out. Now, this is, in my opinion, a great introduction to experimental rigor. You're not going to learn the 
entire experimental design process. But this is, if especially if you're new to the field, this is a great introduction to, in the medical field, they do some of the most rigorous evaluations of data science and machine learning in any domain. So I recommend this class because you're going to get introduced to those rigorous machine learning evaluation techniques and methodologies that get applied to do the science side of data science. And so although this is not 100% data science focused, you're going to learn a lot of core concepts around doing more rigorous data science and evaluation of data science from almost a research methodology standpoint. It's, it is amazing how much you'll learn in a very short amount of time that I would say 80% 80, 80 of data scientists, even with years of experience in the field, don't understand the experimental side of data science. And so this is going to give you an excellent introduction to that piece of it, and it'll add on to all of your other knowledge. And the models that you build will be better supported. The assertions that you make will be better supported. And what you deploy into production will be more reliable. So it's more valuable to the business. And a lot of businesses are waking up and understanding how much they need data scientists who understand the research side, who understand a little bit more of the scientific rigor. So introduction to systematic review and meta-analysis, John Hopkins University, Coursera. All right, data science and agile systems project product management. You're thinking you're not a product manager. No, you're probably not. Maybe you want to be one one day. So this is a great one if you're thinking maybe you want to pivot your career in that direction because this is a gap skill. Understanding how to productize and monetize data science and machine learning is a skill a lot of businesses want. They want to be able to depend on this technology and these approaches and methodologies for revenue and for cost savings, internal return rate of return. They want to improve the internal rate of return of their projects. And so understanding product management and how data science and product management work together, that could be some place that you pivot your career. But understanding the strategy side, and this is really the closest step to what you do as a developer or as a data scientist who's developing models for production. This is the closest next step towards the strategy side with a better, better eye towards business acumen. I think that's a better way of saying it. You're going to have better business acumen after a class like this. You're going to be able to, be, to talk to stakeholders, senior leaders, and you're going to be able to speak their language. You're also going to be able to talk to product management who plays a pivotal role in explaining what the business needs are, what the goals of a particular project are, what the users need, what their requirements are, how revenue is booked or cost savings are expected from the work that you're doing, you're going to have a much better connection with all of those external teams, as well as a better connection so that you can evaluate your project and make those decisions that you make almost unconsciously about what the project will end up looking like. And you can evaluate that in a business framework as well as a data science framework. And that's hugely valuable. So this is something that's worth doing, even if you're not thinking about becoming a product manager. So data science and agile systems for product management, edX, University of Maryland offers this class. Now, finally, this one's a little bit fringe. So spatial data science, this is not asked for very frequently in job descriptions, but so few data scientists have spatial data science or GIS experience or capabilities that this is one of those gap skills that even though it is not frequently asked for in your job descriptions, just having this on your resume makes you very, very qualified for those types of roles. It'll make you stand out and it might give you an in into the field that you may not have had access to before. So this is some this is one of the kinds of classes that you want to look for when you're potentially trying to find, you know, what is it that you're going to do? This may be something that interests you, but also looking for a foothold into the field. How are you going to land that first role? For this type of a class, again, it's a niche skill. So few data scientists have it and enough jobs ask for it that you may find yourself having a much easier path into the field 
following one of these niches and targeting some of your education at a niche field or niche capability. And so this is a good example of that. So it's spatial data science, new frontier and analytics. I kind of like that. And it's from ESRI, Esri Academy. Great course. Simplistic gets you exactly to what you need. They don't offer this all the time, it appears. But if you can sign up for it and get into one of their tracks, it's worth doing. Or like I said, look for other classes like that where you see this asked for maybe rarely in job descriptions, but so few data scientists have it that it'll make you stand out and give you a foothold into the field. So those are some of the more uh, overlooked classes that are out there available for free and that will make you stand out as a data scientist or teach you core concepts in a more comprehensive way than the majority of well-publicized classes that are out there will. I hope that's helped you from a learning path perspective. And like I said, look for these types of classes that are going to give you gap skills, skills that will make you stand out above everyone else, because that's how you're going to have the easiest time transitioning into the field is with those gap skills.